So welcome grade 2 to today's science class. Today we are going to do unit 3 lesson 5. What are fossils? And today's date is 13, 10, 20, 20 and the day is Tuesday. And the pages we are going to do is 126, 127 and 128. So these are the three pages that we are going to do today. So let's move on. Open page 126. So, write the date on the top, CW, 13, 10, 20, 20. Write the date. So let's start. Question number one, circle it. We have to circle it. Now look, circle the animal that is extinct. What is the meaning of extinct? You have studied. It means that is no longer living, which is no longer living. So there are three animals here. So let's see which is living and which is not living anymore, which is extinct. So what about the crocodile? Is it extinct? Is it no longer living? You all have seen a crocodile, right? It is still alive. You can see it in the zoo or you can see it in the pond or you can see it anywhere nowadays. So it is present. It is still living. It is not extinct. So let's move on to the next animal. What about the elephant? Is it extinct? Is it no longer living? Have you all seen the elephant? Yes, some have. Maybe in the zoo. So it is a living. Yes, very good, Dilana. So even the elephant, it is still alive. It is still living. Very good. So this is not extinct. So the crocodile and the elephant, it is not extinct. What about the dinosaur? Is it extinct? Yes, it is extinct because it is no longer living. You cannot see them alive anymore. So, circle them. The dinosaur. Circle the dinosaur. Now, question number two, match it. So, match the living thing to its fossil. So, there are the living things here, living animals. We have to match to its fossils. As you can see here, the first one we have is of fish. So, which is the fossil of a fish? Is this a fossil of a fish? No. What about the next one? Is it the fossil of a fish? No. So, the last one is the fossil of a fish. So, match it.
Now, the next one, we have the woolly mammoth. So, which is the fossil of a woolly mammoth? So, match it. The first one is the fossil of a woolly mammoth. Then the last one, we have the fern leaf. So, fern leaf, match it to the fossil of a fern leaf. So now you know by looking at the fossil, you know how the animal or the plant, it was alive. So after you finish it, let's move on to the next page, page 127. We have, write a word from the word bank on each line to complete the story. So there is a story here. We have to complete it by taking the words from the word bank. There are three words here. So the first one is dinosaurs, fossils, and then extinct. So let's see. Have you ever been to a natural history museum? Museum is the place where they keep all the things which you cannot see anymore. That is extinct. So, there you can learn about animals that are dash or no longer living. What is the meaning of no longer living? Is it dinosaurs? Is it fossils? Or is it extinct? Yes, very good. It is extinct. Jude and Dilana. Yes, your answers are right. So, write the answer here. Extinct. E. X T I N C T extinct. The next you can learn about dash. They were animals that lived on earth millions of years ago. So which animal lived millions of years ago? You all know it, right? Is it the dinosaur or is it the fossils? Fossils, you, it can be found. But which lived long ago, which animal is it? It is a dinosaur. Yes, so write your answer. D-I-N-O, dinosaur. S-A-U-R-S, dinosaurs. Then, you may see dash or what are left from plants and animals that lived long ago. So, what do you see of the plants and animals that lived long ago? What is found nowadays by the scientists? Yes, it is the fossils. So, write the answer, fossil. F-O-S-S. I L S fossils. Yes, very good. Sham Almasa Hakaya, very good fossils. So now let's move on to the next page, page 128. Fill in the chart, show how a fossil forms. So you have to write how the fossil is formed. You have studied yesterday how the fossil is formed. First, you have seen about the ammonite fossil. First, it dies and it is covered with mud or a sand. And then the second, the soft part, it starts getting rotted and only the hard part remains. And number three, the hard part turned to the rock. And number four, erosion wears away the rock and the fo fossil is left behind. So these are the four steps. So let's write the first step.
a living thing dies and is covered in mud or sand. So a living thing dies, number one, and is covered in mud or sand. Number two, what happens? The soft part rot away. So soft parts of plants or animal rot away. So hard parts remain. So soft part it's rot away and now only the hard part it is remaining. And then number three, what happens to the fossil, how it is formed? Then the hard part, it turns into a rock. So hard parts turn to rock. Then the last erosion wears away the rock, the fossil is left behind. That is how the scientists define the fossil. Field trip to the museum. In this hall, we saw fossils from organisms that lived many years ago. I used to think that all fossils were dinosaur bones, but our guide explained that fossils can be things other than bones. Click the highlighted areas to learn more about each fossil. When you are done, click the next arrow to continue learning about fossils. I was surprised to learn that this wasn't a dinosaur at all. It is a saber-toothed tiger. It lived after the dinosaurs, but it is still really old. Even though it is just bones now, I can imagine how scary it would have been with those long teeth. Ouch! Have you ever left footprints in the sand or mud? If you went back the next day, the footprints probably wouldn't still be there. These dinosaur footprints were found in Bolivia, which is in South America, and were made many years ago. I am amazed that they were preserved for so long. I wonder if something was chasing this dinosaur when it ran in this mud. This was my favorite fossil. It is a fossil of a dinosaur egg. We had fun imagining a little dinosaur hatching. I was just glad it wasn't a T-Rex. So now you know it is not only of the dinosaurs. There are many different types of fossils and many different animals have their different fossils and this is a museum where you can find the extinct things <laughs>
Did you know that fossils are what is left of plants and animals that lived long ago? This fossil came from a giant shark called the megalodon that may have been longer than three great white sharks put together. So now this is the fossil of a megalodon, which was a shark, which was a big shark, which lived long ago. Fossils can form in different ways. Click each picture to find out more. Now let's see how the fossils are formed. Fossils help us learn about plants, animals, and other things that lived long ago, like the dinosaur. Dinosaurs were animals that lived on Earth millions of years ago. Dinosaurs are extinct. This means that none of them are living anymore. This fossil is an imprint of a dinosaur's foot. The fossil is not actually the dinosaur's foot. It's hardened mud that the dinosaur stepped in. So now this is the imprint on the mud that is the leg of the dinosaur which is found, which is the fossil. This is a fossil of the remains of a fish. The fish was covered with sand and mud in the ocean. Later the fish became part of the rock that formed from the sand and mud. Because we have this fossil, scientists can tell that this fish lived long ago. If we find a fish fossil on land, this tells scientists that the area where the fossil was found was once covered by water. So now you know how the scientists, they studied the fossil. If it was found on the top of the water, they find that there was water before, but now there is no water, so they find the fossil of the fish. So this fossil, it is the remain of the fish on the rock which has become hard. So how the fossil is formed? First the fish, it died. And the soft part it rot away and only the hard part remained on the rock. Then the hard part turned to the rock and now there is a fossil. There are many ways that a fossil can form. Sometimes animals can get trapped in tree sap or ice. This insect was trapped in the soft sap of a tree. The sap hardened with the insect's body still in it. So there is an insect inside the part of this tree which was hardened and it died inside the tree. So even this is a fossil kind of a fossil. So a fossil means not only bones, not only imprints, but also the living thing which is trapped inside. It may be the ice, the living thing which was inside the water and the water it became ice. So now the insect, it is trapped inside the ice. A soft plant can change to rock over time. Here, wood from long ago slowly turned to rock over a long time. So in this picture you can see this is the wood from a tree from the long, long past. Now it has changed into the rock. So not only the animals or plants, now also the living uh, plants which can change into the rock. Fossils form very slowly in a step-by-step -step process. Click play to see how some fossils form. So let's see how the fossils are formed. Many fossils form when plants or animals are buried under mud, clay, or sand. This log is buried under mud. Over millions of years, hard materials soak into the log and replace the soft parts. The result is a fossil of the log that is made of rock. We call this process petrification. So now the log, it has turned to a rock from many, many years. It has been laid there. So it has now turned into a rock because the soft part, it has been rotted away. Fossils are the remains or traces of living things that lived long ago. See if you can correctly match the fossil to the plant or animal that lived long ago. 
Drag each picture of a living thing to its fossil. So here are the pictures of the living things, and there down is the pictures of the fossils, their remains. So we have to match it. Let's see the first word. It's of the snail. So which is the fossil of the snail? Let's match. Is it this one? No. So is it the shell? Yes. Look, the snail, it also has the shell and this is the shell of the snail. This is the fossil of a snail. Now let's see uh, what about the spider. Is it correct? No. Is it this the fossil of a spider? Yes, it is trapped inside the sap of a tree. So this is the fossil of a spider. Now next we have the woolly mammoth. So which is the fossil of a woolly mammoth? You have it here. So let's match. So this is the woolly mammoth fossil. And next about the shark. So which one is the shark here? Look at the teeth of the shark. So let's match. Yes, it is right. So this is the fossil of the shark. Then we have the plant. Is this correct? No. Is this its fossil? Yes. So it is the fossil of the plant. Now the last one we have with of the dinosaur. So let's match. Good job. Yes. You matched the plant or animal that lived long ago to its fossil. Studying fossils can tell us a lot about life in the past. Click the first image to get started. Finding a fossil of a sea creature tells us that the area where the fossil was found was once underwater. In California, scientists have found fossils of a large cat related to tigers. That tells us that this animal used to live there. Fossils of this lizard help us understand how landforms on Earth might have moved over time. Because fossils like this one were found in both Africa and South America, scientists think those continents used to be much closer together. This lizard is extinct which means that no more lizards of this kind are alive anymore. So these are the fossils of different animals which lived long ago, which are no more and which are extinct. This shelled fossil can help us find out how old a rock is. Scientists can figure out how old the shell is. This can help scientists figure out the age of the rock that surrounds the shell. So the scientists, they can learn about the rock as well as the shell. So now you know that different fossils help the scientists to study about the life that once lived on Earth. So this was the lesson about the fossils. So that's all for today.